right. Good, good afternoon. Is it good afternoon or is it still good morning? Everyone, um, I've come over to Manchester today to the Britannia Country House Hotel, which a good friend of mine, Savage Media, paid a visit a while ago. And um, yeah, we seem to have quite a lot of visitors. Hi, Rex. We're in Didsbury, in Manchester. What a beautiful, beautiful part of Manchester. Absolutely stunning. We've been to the Britannia Hotel, Manchester Airport first. Quite a big hotel, we couldn't really see anything, so we we went inside because I needed the toilet, but couldn't see um, anything there. Hello, patriotic monk, how are you? It's a gorgeous hotel, absolutely stunning. How beautiful is this hotel? Hi, patriotic Avery. Look at this stunning, stunning hotel. Britannia Hotel, Didsbury, Manchester. Beautiful, beautiful, posh area. It's sort of like we've been walking around the streets then and you could hear a pin drop. It was so, so quiet. Morning, Kim. I think it's still morning. Um, this is all the... Hotel. None of them picked on yet. Did you see them all, guys? It's absolutely full of illegal immigrants. Um, a guy came in the week who I know, and he saw a bus dropping them off. He spoke to one of those guys off camera who said that um, they'd just come in at Dover on the, on the dinghy right there after us now. But we need to go back down here, don't we? Shall we turn back round? Come on. Sorry? They ask you who you're speaking to. Sorry? Yeah, we're just filming the uh, hotel. What for? Um, I'm just a local journalist. Yeah, well, local journalist. Just report the news for no problem, um, Yorkshire. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry? What are you filming for? Uh, you so I'm a local okay. journalist. Okay, well, this is private property, so you're going to have to leave, I'm afraid. Oh, is that's it? okay. Yeah. I'm just coming to look at this such beautiful hotel that okay? um, we're not allowed to um, stay in you ourselves. Can. You haven't stated why you're filming. You don't have to. Okay, that's fine. I'm filming well, for my channel. I'm a freelance. I'm a freelance journalist. Okay, that's it's got, fine. It's got public access, hasn't it? Yeah, that's yeah. fine. But as I say, we're asking you to vacate now. That's all you want. It's got public access. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it gets public Britannia access. Britannia Hotel, but Didsbury, Manchester, yeah. guys. We've been told to leave the hotel grounds. Like they've got something to hide. Yeah, you'd think they've got something to hide here, wouldn't you? What you got to hide, guys? Why don't you want us in your hotel grounds? Because it's full of illegal immigrants. Yeah? Yeah. So when you haven't got them all to go back inside? <clears throat> Hi guys, do you like our country? No, no, no. Telling them not no. to talk to us. I'm putting, thumb I'm putting thumbs up, guys. I'm just a reporter reporting, guys. I'm not here to harm you at yeah. all. But th these don't like us um, on the property. Um... Have a looking after you, well. Nice Come food. On. Nice food. Yeah. 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 What can they do? This is private property. Now, beautiful hotel, guys, isn't it? Public property. Absolutely yeah, this is beautiful. Now you're on private property, so you need to vacate. Yeah. And, uh,
What are you covering your faces for? I'm not. I'm. I'm no harm to you. I am just um, a freelance reporter. What? Why? Why is it all so secretive? What? Why don't you like us filming here? Excuse me. Would Would you like to answer some questions? Would Would you like to answer some questions? Why Why you don't like us filming? Yeah, would you like to answer some questions? So we're, we're, we're not into harm, you guys. We're just doing a report for um, our local news. Thank you very much for your time. Very much appreciated. Look at this gorgeous hotel, guys. Beautiful. Why are they so secretive about the people staying in their hotels? I wonder why. They're phoning the police on us now. We're phoning the police. All I've done is come to do a report for my channel. Yeah. We've got journalists here. We've got journalists here on phones at police. I'll keep filming, guys, because they've rang the police on us and we're, caught, we're parked quite a way away. Um, but we have to get down the main road to get back to where our car is, so I think I better carry on filming for our safety. But, yeah, I wonder if he'll talk to us, but I think it might be a good idea to get away from this hotel, guys. Do you? What do you think? Yeah, I was just saying before, I was rudely uh, interrupted then that, yeah, a, a bus arrived in the week and um, <clears throat> one of the illegal immigrants um, spoke to um, one of my friends and told them that they'd literally come into Dover four days ago on one of the big dinghies that holds, it had 80 on there. Hi, Peaky Binders. Um, so yeah, that's probably changed, changed my, um, my opinion because my, my opinion was that surely they're not just going from the processing down in Kent, going straight to hotels, but that was a while ago. Um, I mean, the amounts of numbers that are coming in now daily is just absolutely frightening. 800 and 500 terrible absolutely so yeah if you're wanting to go on holiday to manchester for a little weekend break in the future keep away from the britannia country house hotel didsbury in manchester which is full of illegal immigrants Thanks guys for uh, tuning in and watching my channel. Please like, uh, share it and subscribe to my channel as well. I've been away for a couple of weeks, uh, just having a little bit of a break, um, but I'm back now. We've got some caravan parks to go to. Um, we've got some more hotels in York to go to. Uh, Newcastle, Stockton, the list is never ending. Never mind the other hotels, um, the ones that are housing the Afghan refugees. You know, how do we not know that the Taliban, the jihadis, anybody could be coming in on those dinghies. They throw their ID in the sea and we haven't got a clue who these people are. Enough is enough. West Yorkshire, I was just told by my father yesterday, is going to be the biggest area in the country that is taking the refugees. We have the Cedar Court at uh, Uddersfield Ainley Top, which I did pay a visit if you look back on my YouTube um, a few weeks ago. And they're taking in the, uh, the refugees plus the... Um, Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> Miss Payton. Um, 
there's also another hotel at Halifax called the um, the Old Golf. It was the Old Golf Hotel. They're welcoming the uh, Afghan refugees. When I googled further into that hotel, it went into administration last year, and now they're welcoming the government backhanders and outs to keep their hotels running but the the OYO hotels everyone um, check them out in your local areas you know we've got three of them in York um, it's a big chain it's the chain that was um, was it the, the Rock at Halifax if you remember they were at OYO hotel if you notice it's coming up that hotel where the the one in Sheffield the other day that was an OYO hotel they're obviously another group like the Britannia and they're going to be taking a lot in right guys we're uh, we're back to my car now thank you very much for tuning in I really really appreciate all your support yeah I'm just a local mum from West Yorkshire um, who's fed up of seeing um, all this inconsistency on our streets today the crime the violence um and i just want to report on this thanks very much guys um subscribe to my channel and like and share goodbye from yorkshire rose in manchester